Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's the type of content you enjoy, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can come join the family. So today's gonna be a relaxed video. We're just gonna be playing in makeup. I had been wanting to try the new Fenty Skin Tint Stick along with the new Hoss Labs Concealer together just to see what it's given together. So I thought why not just do a collective of a few things and kind of let you guys know my thoughts on it also I was able to pick up the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch powder like a week or so ago so we're going to be trying this out as well and comparing it to the one size powder I did get the pink color so I'll be showing you guys how the one size looks as compared to the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake so if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on these products used together then keep on watching okay so for primer I'm going to use the elf liquid poreless putty primer if you haven't tried this primer you really should it's a good one and super inexpensive it's in a liquid form but when you apply it to the skin it starts to sort of dry into a putty consistency on the skin and it helps your makeup to last a few hours longer going in with the Huda Beauty faux filter corrector to correct these really dark scars that are hard to cover y'all this is so good <laughs> I got this like a month or two ago and it sat in my bathroom for a while I sort of forgot that I bought it but it's really good when I did buy this I tried out like three different correctors in the store in Sephora this is the first time I ever did that I literally got the color correctors I tried this one I tried the un the newest under eye corrector from NARS and a third one I can't remember what it was but I actually tested them out in the store and put foundation on top to see how well it covered like does it move around for me that's one of the most important parts of a color corrector is when you go to cover it up how easy is it to cover up like does it move around a lot and this one out of all three was by far the best and I did try a couple colors in this one and this was the best color I'll put the color in the description box so now for one of the stars of the show the Fenty Beauty this is the ease drop stick foundation really like this one keep in mind if you have this foundation you need to keep this little top on here so not only does it have this on here it has this which is supposed to stay on in case you didn't know blending with my real techniques buffing brush this is literally the most skin like foundation that I own and I have some really natural and really nice foundations several of them but I must say that this particular foundation does give something different than all of the foundations I have in my collection I do have a full review of this foundation on my channel already so you can click on that link to check it out to cover the orange I'm gonna use the Sephora best skin ever concealer I really like this one not only because the coverage is great but this color is so perfect the Sephora best skin ever liquid products do oxidize so you'll notice as I apply it it looks a bit light but I promise you it dries to my exact skin tone. I've been seeing a few videos of people setting their liquid products with the puffs that we typically use for powder. So I'm gonna try to use this to blend just to see what it's giving. I've never done this before. The other star of the show is the Hoss Labs Concealer. I do have two colors in it. I have 40 and 34. So I'm gonna go in with 40 and blend with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. I like these together. Very nice. Natural. you know what the thing is about the new Hoss Labs concealer is I feel like I had to get used to a concealer with this amount of coverage so this is like a medium coverage concealer and I'm used to concealers that sort of give like the Dior forever or the Huda Beauty or even the best skin ever where you get sort of that full coverage and so I felt like I would have to add more to get the look I'm going for but I'm realizing just get used to the medium because the medium's not bad. It's not like I need a full coverage under eye. You know what I mean? It's just was my preference. So I am brightening a little bit more with 34, which is the lighter shade with the same blending sponge from Real Technique. So for cream contour, I'm gonna use my LYS contour stick and blending with the clean side of my Real Technique sponge. I don't typically blend my cream contour with a sponge. Usually I use a brush, but I just want to kind of try something new today I mean I've done it before but typically I don't I actually really like it with the sponge 
a little heavy on this side but a little extra blend so girl look what i got yes i got the new huda beauty easy bake and snatch press powder in the color cherry blossom cake i got this like a couple days after it came out i want to say and Y'all feel like I haven't sat down and recorded forever because you guys I batch create I make a lot of videos at once So I feel like I, I haven't been here in a while So I have so many new products to show y'all. But anyways, this is it. I like the packaging. It's cute open it up Ooh, this is pretty pale Okay, so this is really pale if you've watched me before, you know I absolutely love the one size one the pink one size loose powder love it so natural looking even more natural than the regular translucent powders But this one's super pale So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it by itself under one and then I'm gonna set it with my loose powder and then use it as a finishing powder on the other eye That way we can kind of see what it's given. So I'm gonna take the puff and just go right in okay so it's not as pale as i thought it was gonna be it almost gives like the similar shade as the one size pink powder so maybe on the next video we'll compare the two actually we'll compare the two today let's compare it today so this is absolutely a powder that you don't have to do a loose one first you can just go in yeah it's not bad so other eye let's take the one size powder this one is in the color ultra pink so i'm gonna get a new puff out of the pack so that we can truly know So obviously the one size powder is a lot more toned down. The Huda one is more of like a brightening powder. So now y'all see the difference. So actually after seeing how it looks compared to the one size powder, I would probably use the Huda Beauty more so as a finishing powder and not like the first setting powder. I would put it like on top, kind of like how I do the airbrush powder from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna go in and then add the Huda under the one that has the one size. Definitely a brightening powder. Taking my Benefit Hula Treasure Island palette. This is the mini and use the bronzer in here with my fast face brush from the lip bar i love this brush who bought the new sephora brush set <laughs> okay it's not like the other brush sets <laughs> that sephora makes that has like I don't want to say the cheaper quality brushes it literally has their pro quality brushes in it i think it has like six six or eight brushes in there the full size ones that you buy individually in the store is all in a set and you know those brushes are like anywhere from like 20 to 40 dollars a piece i want to say and you get the full sizes all six or eight for 95 dollars when i tell you an amazing deal if you guys didn't get it now let's just hope it's still in stock by the time the sale comes but i couldn't wait girl <laughs> I didn't want to chance it because usually when they their brushes when they have a good deal on their pro brushes when they're gone they're gone like usually they I'm surprised that it's still in stock right now I was like surprised it didn't sell out but it's a deal everybody might have the same idea that I have which is way for the sale so that may be why it's still in stock but if it is when the sale comes y'all add it to cart now <laughs> add it to cart now and when the sale comes you already know not to forget about it because wow gonna take one of my hourglass ambient powders this one's in eternal light and use the opposite side of the brush this is a really good brush y'all such great quality go in and i'm gonna use this i've been using this a lot lately as a blush usually for me it's a blush topper or like a very super subtle highlighter but i've been using it as like a glowy blush so understated and i think this would be perfect if you're wearing like a bold color lip a red or a bold pink or even like a deep burgundy because it's fall girl <laughs> gonna fill in my brows with my sephora brow pencil this is my favorite brow pencil my brows are already glued down with my ardell brow glue back in with my sephora best skin ever concealer just to clean up my brows just make them look a little bit neater and i like to use this particular concealer mainly because of the color not necessarily because of the formula but because the color dries down so close to my skin tone i like a subtle highlight typically 
Typically, I like a subtle highlight under the brow bone. Sometimes I go a little brighter, but usually I like skin tone. So I started a new series. I know we haven't talked about TV shows in a long time. I started a new series. It's the one on Apple TV with Idris Elba. And he's, I forget the name, Hijacked. I think the name is Hijacked. I could be wrong, but basically he's on a hijacked plane. And he's sort of trying to navigate the situation. He's like trying to negotiate through the situation. He's a passenger and it's really good so far I think I'm like halfway through it so good comment down below if you've seen that one and then I just finished one on Hulu the other black girl if y'all saw the advertisement and y'all were thinking about watching it go ahead and watch it it is good girl something different you know how sometimes the shows kind of get redundant and you're like uh, I've seen you know a show similar especially now when they're having all of these sort of doomsday type uh, storylines these end of the world type storylines maybe some of you can relate to parts of it so comment down below let me know if you've seen that one and let me know what else y'all are watching because when I finish this I'm gonna be looking for something else taking my bite-sized eyeshadow palette this one is the I love you latte palette from elf y'all I haven't been putting this down I've been using this almost every time I do my makeup lately which is gonna take the brown and just sort of lightly blend it I don't want too much color on the eyes so one of my next videos is gonna be fall decor <laughs> it is fall y'all so I need to go ahead and pull my pumpkin decor out and I'm gonna show you guys how I put that together I hadn't necessarily got anything new I'm just gonna pull out my stuff from last year but I did see a couple of really pretty pumpkins at at home which is where I got a lot of my fall decor last year if you don't pay attention to my community tab you should I did post that at home had a sale it was like 25% off of their fall decor last week so I'll keep you guys updated on the sales I see also make sure you go to your local TJ Maxx your local home goods and Ross especially Ross because they're so cheap go to the home decor check that out that way you can get some of these items at a discount because when it comes to that type of stuff you guys should not be I'm not gonna say should not be but you don't have to pay full price for a lot of this stuff unless it's some super special we're gonna put my elf little cream stick pencil in the waterline and using that same brush we blended on our mobile lead I'm gonna take the same brown and smudge it underneath the bottom lash line for mascara i'm gonna use my fenty beauty hella thick y'all know fenty had a sale i want to say like last week i did post it for you guys it was 25 percent off site wide wow i didn't know y'all i didn't know this this is really what i've been using this for like six months now hella thick is giving today maybe i can really see my lashes so much better with this mascara today because i didn't put on top liner because i'm wowed by this mascara today i don't think i've felt this way about this mascara ever not that it's bad it's definitely one that's in my rotation but today it's giving the sun moon and the stars like wow gonna take my tom ford liner and i'm actually gonna just use this right on the end just a little flick that way we can still let the lashes shine i've only been using this like a couple weeks maybe like three weeks now and I like it I like how sharp and precise it is it's like really stiff and precise so let's take our Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray for lips let's do cola from Juvia's Place and media lipstick this one is from Mac I have not worn a lip color this dark in a long time so yeah this is the final look happy fall everybody welcome to fall really appreciate you guys watching if you're new here welcome don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out I would love for you to come back join the family and thank you all so much for watching I'll see you on the next one To step to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars What well, I don't have the answer